Oh my gosh, you are so warm. <laughs> Leave me, darling. My battery is low. I want to recharge. <laughs> when you're a robot partner, when you love robot, finds you in your birthday suit. That means finds you without clothes. How does it react? First of all, the, that question that comes to my mind is what enables them to interpret the visual world of you without any cloth? How it happens? How it happens? Have you seen the Dead Sea? How can I? My father had killed it already. Forget about the reaction. Just think about or concentrate on the interpretation of the visual world. Actually, computer vision libraries such as OpenCV, computer vision libraries function as the sensory input for robots for interpreting the visual world. That is how with the help of computer vision libraries, the robot lover interprets that, oh, oh my goodness, this man has no cloth. He's in his birthday suit. And after that, many things happen. But wait, the fact is, for a hypothetical human and robot partner, these libraries are crucial for navigating intimate moments. Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. They process data from cameras to analyze your from your facial expressions to your body language and even subtle physiological cues. That means what you are doing at that moment without cloth. Even like your breathing patterns or flushing skin and many things more. This provides the raw data needed to infer the user's emotional and mental state. From here, the robot, your lab robot employs machine learning, deep learning, neural networks, algorithms to find complex patterns. Complex patterns of what? Complex patterns within this data. That means it collects already, it has collected a lot of data, right? A lot of data with the help of computer vision libraries. Now they try to find a complex patterns, find the complex patterns. And by correlating specific visual cues, like you are giving, in, giving your robot partner a gentle smile, a dirty smile, a very wicked smile, and you are furrowing your brows or uh, doing something that I cannot say here. And with the context of those interactions and subsequent feedback, the lab robot learns over time what these signals mean because you are signaling it. Signaling, signaling for what? You know better than me, but you are actually signaling it to come do something, let's have fun kind of things. And this allows it to build a prediction model of the users of your state of mind and generate appropriate sensitive responses that foster a sense of connection and understanding. You cannot expect that your robot partner will act like a human partner, okay? Because human partners are always unpredictable. You don't know what will they do even in intimate moments. Your human partner could be, could turn violent it happens it happens but your love robots knows that also knows your all the usual patterns that might happen during those intimate moments so 
every data is in its library and according to those data it builds its own logic own reasoning moreover of and it generates the appropriate sensitive response i again repeat on the word sensitive because human partners are not always very sensitive they could be very insensitive during those uh, physical moments they could be yes it happens it also happens so these responses actually foster a sense of connection and understanding and but unfortunately we forget that in those moments because we always think of ourselves in many cases in many cases human partners only think of themselves not the not the uh, they don't try to understand the position the state of mind of their partners their partners they forget about it they only think of themselves that is the difference between a human partner unpredictable messy sometimes violent sometimes crude uh, not not uh, very sophisticated or sensitive but your robot partner since they are trained to act in a general in a very uh, appropriate sensitive way they don't do the same mistake now there are different types of technologies are involved there and it is not it's not really easy to uh, uh, say everything in one video because there are a lot of uh, things afterwards and beforehand there are a lot of things going on and of course in my different videos i try to uh, get you uh, get you acquainted with those uh, knowledge so that we can understand our robot partners better because super intelligence is knocking on our door and it will change the overall the world of lab robots completely completely because super intelligence will make these lab robots smarter even smarter than us okay and in that situation what will happen we still don't know we still don't know right whether they will uh, take over whether they will replace us whether they will kill us or do something else with us we don't know at present what will they do because uh, super intelligence is so scary a thing however still we should be very optimistic we should be uh, very hopeful that it will ultimately help the humanity our civilization and everything so that is it for today for me and uh, uh, in the next video i will of course will i'll come back with a different topic on ai on robotics on lab robots so that is it thank you for joining us on this journey let's continue this conversation in the comments below if you like the video please hit the bell icon to get notified and don't forget to like with your friends share and subscribe for more insights if you have already subscribed tons of thanks for your support it means a lot to me and please consider signing up for membership zone to support wooden set so that we can make it better and better see you in the next video till then goodbye take care and stay safe